Hello. In today's video, I would like to show how to import any 3D model basically into Wizim. It can be a static 3D model or vehicle as well. I was just working on another video when I realized I need a speed camera. So I thought, why not? Maybe you will end up in a similar situation at some point. So what you need to do is open a browser and go to 3D, uh, 3D warehouse.sketchup.com. You can create a free account and log in. And basically you just search for anything you want. You might have wrong results, so you need to go here instead of products using the uh, models, 3D models. And here you can just have a look and select the one you like. And you can download it. Just uh, be careful when you download, try to always use. <laughs> well, if you use a new Vizim version, go with the most recent one, of course. But if you have older Wizim versions, try to go with the older um, SketchUp versions. If you have a very old Wizim model, probably like 10 or 11, you won't be able to import a SketchUp file, or you won't be able to import these versions. If you have old models, what you can do, you can download one of these versions here, and you install SketchUp on your laptop, and SketchUp should be able to convert back to an old version. Um, I'm just not sure if that you will, or how easy, how easy it is to find a free SketchUp, or you can just get maybe a trial version or, or something, or if there is a free version, yeah, go on, uh, but it can convert it back. So that's a solution or go with a more recent Wizim. So I just download that. And then I select static 3D for this and select from the download and it brings up the model and it can read it. And here you have a lot of um, uh, ways basically to set it up. You can change the angles and everything, but also when you place it, you can uh, scale it up or, uh, so as you can see, it's quite, it is quite tiny. So if I go to here, is so short a list, there is a scale. So I scale it up to like, maybe not that much. I think, so a road is, a lane is around three meter 50. So I think that's, that's reasonable. Maybe a little bit smaller like that. And then if I go back to 2D, I can just uh, move it where you need it. And you can just rotate it. I think this is probably the wrong rotation. And I just tried this, this one. No, not the peach. It's going to be the your. Yeah, so this one looks fine. I just move closer a bit. And it's perfect. So you can get these even for vehicles. So if you go to base data, 3D model segments, and basically here you can um, use you can just add the new one and you can just select the same. Just of course, not this one. It, it makes no sense to have a vehicle in this shape, but you can just download whatever vehicle you want and just import it through there. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.